What's up guys, Nero here from Nero MMA and today we're going to be breaking down one of my favorite techniques in all of martial arts, the question mark kick. Now this is one of my signature moves, a kick that I've won MMA fights with as well as Kyokushin karate fights and it's gotten me millions of views on Instagram and in the UFC you can see fighters starting to use it and it's been gaining popularity, a lot of people want to know how to do it correctly. Let me show you how to throw a proper question mark kick so that you can start landing it in sparring and in fights. So let's do what we came here for, let's learn how to throw the question mark kick. Let's get straight to it. So let's start with what is the question mark kick? Basically, it's a feint to the body. And when your opponent reacts and baits on your feint, you bring the kick upstairs and connect to their head. Ideally, your opponent is gonna react by lowering their guard just a little bit. And then at the last moment, you whip the kick around and bring it up to their head. Let's break down step by step how you throw the question mark kick. Now, in order for the question mark kick to connect upstairs, you have to make the initial move the feint believable. The first step of the kick is bringing your knee up in a chambered position and kicking out. What you do from there is you bring your leg back into the chamber. Now, from here, in order to get to the head, in order for your kick to reach the head, you want to rotate on your supporting foot and bring your heel towards your opponent. It opens up my hip and redirects my knee. And from here, what I do is from the chamber, I whip the kick up to the head and bring it back. So the initial feint to the body, then you turn your supporting leg and whip the kick upstairs. You feint, turn, and kick to the head. And bring it back. The turning of the supporting foot is very important because what you wanna do is you feint forward, then you have to turn your hip to redirect the kick. And the way that you do this is by turning your heel as much towards your opponent as possible. So after your initial feint, you bring your knee back. As you bring your knee back, you turn your supporting leg and then kick. And the initial feint actually helps in turning your hip. So you kick out, bring it back, and as you bring it back, you turn your supporting leg. The initial feint is gonna create momentum in order for you to twist and turn your hip and to bring the kick upstairs. So do not neglect this first part of the kick. So feint, and then you turn your supporting foot. From here, the next step is going to be feint, turn your hip, and then you whip the kick out. All right, so when we throw it on the heavy bag, it's gonna look something like this. The first step is throwing the feint. And the question mark kick, in my opinion, is best set up when you make your opponent respect your mid kicks and you make your opponent react to them. And a way that I like to do this is, I like to throw a couple of front kicks first, really dig into the body and make them think, I don't wanna be hit by another front kick. So what are they gonna do? They're gonna react to the front kick by lowering their hands, ideally, just a little bit so that you can come up over the top of the guard. So the first thing you do is you want to just throw a couple of front kicks out there, maybe even a mid kick. And then once you get your opponent to respect your mid kicks, you come up over the top and surprise them and hopefully knock them out with the question mark kick. Chamber, feint, chamber again and then come up over the top. All right guys, that is how you throw a proper question mark kick. This is one of my favorite kicks. This is the kick that won me the Swedish championship gold back when I competed in Kyokushin Karate, and also a kick that I've scored a TKO victory with in MMA, a kick that I use frequently in sparring, and a kick that's gonna score me a whole lot of KOs in the future, hopefully. One of my favorite moves, I hope you guys enjoy this, I hope you guys learn something new. Leave a thumbs up, leave a comment in the box below if you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys soon again. Thank you.